Good morning. It's Tuesday, June 30th, and I greet you from the meadow here up Hidden Farm Road overlooking Lower Mud Lake. Shadow and I are up early this morning on a walk, um, and we wish you and extend to you the peace of Christ. Let us take a moment to quiet ourselves in heart and mind, that we might be more open to the sacred presence within and around us. Our psalm this morning is taken from Psalm 34. Again, adapted by Nan C. Merrow in her book, Psalms for Praying. I will bless the beloved at all times. A song of praise I will sing. My soul speaks to the beloved community continually. Let all who suffer hear and be glad. Oh, open your hearts, friends, that your pain and loneliness be turned to love. And then we shall rejoice in the beloved together, one with love. We are never alone. One with love. We are never alone. So in the last week, I've discovered a new poet, Amanda Gorman. She is our Youth Poet Laureate for the United States, and she has some wonderful poems, powerful poems, deeply meaningful ones. I wanted to share one this morning. I cannot read it the way she does, but her words still have deep meaning for our reflection on this new day. Her poem is titled, The Miracle of Morning. I thought I'd awaken to a world in mourning, heavy clouds crowding, a society storming. But there's something different on this golden morning, something magical in the sunlight, wide and warming. I see a dad with a stroller taking a jog. Across the street, a bright-eyed girl chases her dog. A grandma on a porch fingers her rosaries. She grins as her young neighbor brings her groceries. While we might feel small, separate, and all alone, our people have never been more closely tethered. The question isn't if we will weather this unknown but how we will weather this unknown together. So on this meaningful morn, we mourn and we mend. Like light, we can't be broken even when we bend. As one, we will defeat both despair and disease. We stand with health healthcare heroes and all employees. With families, libraries, schools, waiters, and artists, businesses, restaurants, and hospitals hit hardest. We ignite not in the light, but in lack thereof. For it is in loss that we truly learn to love. In this chaos, we will discover clarity. In suffering, we must find solidarity. For it's our grief that gives us our gratitude shows us how to find hope if we ever lose it. So ensure that this ache wasn't endured in vain. Do not ignore the pain. Give it purpose. Use it. Read children's books. Dance alone to DJ music. Know that this distance will make our hearts grow fonder. From a wave of woes, our world will emerge stronger. We'll observe how the burdens braved by humankind are also the moments 
that make us humans kind. Let every dawn find us courageous, brought closer, heeding the light before the fight is over. When this ends, we'll smile sweetly, finally seeing and testing times we become the best of beings. If you're not familiar with Amanda Gorman's poetry, I'd invite you to look her up both on YouTube and on the internet. Um, some powerful words by this young woman. Um, and I give thanks for them this day as I shared them. Let us pray. For everything that emerges from the earth, thanks be to you, O God, holy root of being, sacred sap that rises, full-bodied fragrance of earth's unfolding form. May we know that we are of you, and may we know that we are in you, and may we know that we are one with you, together, one, in love. Guide us as people to what is deepest. Open us as peoples to what is first. Lead us as a world to what is dearest, that we may know the holiness of wholeness, that we may learn the strength of humility, that together we may live close to the earth and grow in grounded glory. On this day, live in love, listen, learn. I want to offer a special blessing and prayer for some young people from the Black Lives Matter, 50 miles more. They're beginning their journey today, their march from Milwaukee to Madison because they care and they know that black lives do matter, that life is sacred. And so we offer prayers to them on their journey, thankful for all who are providing hospitality and shelter to them along the way, and for those who will join them as they make their way into Madison. On this day, go in peace to love and serve and be not afraid. Amen. Oh,